also have emotional attachments to all my stuff. I am sort of a highly empathetic person, and so it's as if all my stuff had feelings. <laughs> and I'm connected to it, and it reflects who I used to be, and who I want to be, and who I was. And um, I have trouble... Let's see if I can draw scissors. Aha! <laughs> I have trouble cutting it. I always label when it's something questionable. Can you tell what that is? <laughs> is it two lollipops? So my thought, my theory is that, okay, this is, we're going to add that this is Becky's theory because we are all going to test it together and you'll let me know how helpful you think it is. It is a working theory. It's a work in progress. Okay, so... Becky's theory about stuff. Uh, we packed the fears. I did get that one from someone else who I will find out in quote. It was Camino there's something. This backpacker. And I'll find out their name and put it at the end. So my theory is that um, our stuff reflects our fears or sometimes our failures too. Um, you know, I have stuff... <laughs> Yeah, that I just keep because I, you know, trying to be that better version of myself or whatever. So our fears, our failures, who we were, who we want to be, we will be. This is a bit of fantasy. And then what we struggle with. You know, in my case, I use the visual reminders. Uh, so, and then emotional attachment to our stuff. And for me, I think this ties into I struggle with sort of emotional regulation. I can fall into um, anxiety or depression. I sort of naturally, I'm a bit of an Eeyore. I wish I could draw Eeyore. I don't know if I can. There's a little tail. Um, I sort of naturally fall a bit more on the Eeyore spectrum. So, <laughs> uh, I tend to, my emotions tend to go down. So, I very easily fall into sort of melancholy and sadness, overthinking things, um, that sort of part of the of the spectrum of emotions and so having my stuff around me helps me feel happy or loved um, I tend to forget that people love me and so it helps me feel happy or loved or to remember the good times or just comfort like uh, you know I love stuffies and I love books and I love things that kind of help take me out of my mindset so I definitely have too many books well, I don't know if I have too many, but I have a lot of books. I have stuffies. I tend to have knickknacks. Um, and it's very, it's little, it's very little of my stuff is actually donatable. Because everybody's like, donate, donate, donate. But when I looked around at my stuff, it's all significant to me. But it's not things that are significant to other people. And so it's sort of like me or the garbage. But I feel like they're still useful. And I feel sad about throwing them away and it feels wasteful. And then I also feel sad that it's come to this. <laughs> so there's just a lot of emotions, kind of a little emotional storm <sighs> about dealing with all this stuff.